G'day YouTube. Today I thought I would do a little a little video on a little uh, application launcher I've been using or only just installed yesterday, but it's called Launchy. Now, if you've um, ever used anything like uh, Gnome Do or Cupfo, you'll know what an application launcher is like. You know, basically, you type in what you want, you press enter. It's usually a hotkey which is control and space. Uh, very easy to use, very efficient, etc. Videos, folder, that sort of thing. Um, now it's you probably think I'm mad using this one because it's actually typically I think this launchy program was known for being a Windows program and it was only a couple of years ago brought to Linux and typically we've had things like like Gnome Do and and Cupfer and whatever other ones are available but I personally I'm running Slackware right now as you can see and uh, I couldn't get Cupfer. Uh, I've had uh, problems compiling Cupfer on a few distros where it's not available in a binary, so I sort of give it, gave up on that. I mean, I do like Cupfer, but I would decide to look for something else. And as for Gnome Do, well, um, well, Gnome Do is okay, but there's a the whole Mono thing, and I just can be bothered installing it. So I went and searched for something different, and I found Launchy, which I was surprised to see, which was available for Linux, and I had to compile it, but it's very easy. And if you're on Ubuntu, I believe the dev files are available right on the site. So, as I said, standard standard sort of program. This is uh, it's themable. Um, let's see, you've got some different skins. Uh, you can choose your directories to monitor, all that sort of thing. Include directories. A uh, few plugins, mostly unfortunately the Windows version has all the plugins, there's only a few plugins. Um, like I said, it is just a basic little uh, little application launcher for Linux. Um, you, you would typically, I suppose, go with Gnome Do or, or Cupfer if you have that available, but seeing as I didn't, I went and searched something different, so keep this in mind if it's anything you can get, because it doesn't have many dependencies, it built surprisingly easily and quickly, and it's just a good alternative. So you've got a few different skins here, default, Mercury, Notepad, Quicksilver, I think it's like Mac OS basically, so you, yeah, you got the idea. Writer, yep. Yeah. Uh, that sort of thing. I just like having a default glass one. Uh, Google support, so you can t start typing Google, then press tab, and you can search for what you like, so... And that'll take you directly to... Google, and same for Wikipedia, that sort of thing. So just a quick one today, so just give it a look if you need an alternative launcher. It's not bad, it does what it's supposed to. It doesn't have all the options or plugins, obviously, but so, anyway, go to the download page, you've got the source tab or, or Ubuntu packages, so give it a shot if you feel like it, and uh, yeah, see how you go. See you later.